Thank you very much, Jerry, for that very kind introduction. And I want to just commend you and Elsie for your outstanding leadership in this area and commend SPAN for all you're doing to bring us together around this issue. I believe the future of public health depends upon these kinds of partnerships, really bringing people together around issues and having us work together ultimately at the level of community to move agendas forward because suicide is still a serious public health problem and we still have a lot to do. But I want to just briefly mention three things that are happening that are, that are encouraging. You know that we had a, a suicide prevention conference um, uh, in Reno and SPAN provided the leadership for that, but brought together some really key agencies in government and other organizations all over the country. And uh, I think we made a lot of progress in agreeing upon uh, the essence of a national suicide prevention strategy, and we're moving, moving forward in putting together a call for action um, that would surround that kind of strategy, and we're very close. Uh, our people are very meticulous in their work, and I think doing great work, and I think this is going to make a big difference. The second thing, of course, is we're continuing to work on the Surgeon General's report on mental health. It will be the first ever report, and it should be um, out by the end of this year. So we're looking forward to that. And then, as you know, there is a conference, a White House conference on mental health that uh, Tipa Gore has called, and, and we're looking forward to participating in that conference. And speaking of Tipa Gore, in case you haven't seen it, uh, there's a major article in USA Today uh, on the front page, and then there's an op-ed piece. And I want to just publicly say what I think a lot of uh, a lot of families in this country, a lot of parents, a lot of spouses, would like to say today. Thank you, Tipa Goa. It really means a lot when a person uh, in such a visible position is willing to speak out and say, look, I've had a mental health problem. I personally have struggled with depression. Uh, it's okay. I got help. I've moved forward. And I think it's going to make a big difference in the lives of a lot of people. So uh, we owe uh, Tipa a lot for that, and we look forward to working with her toward the White House Conference on Mental Health, but far beyond that in terms of putting together programs throughout this country to deal uh, with mental health problems of various kind. So we're delighted to be able to join you today. I want to commend you on uh, the announcement of the hotline that I think could make a major difference in this country in providing um, uh, access. I was recently out in California, in Anaheim, and while there I had a chance to visit the Crystal Cathedral. And when they asked me what I wanted to see, I asked to go up to, I believe it was the fifth floor, where they have their counseling centers, but they have hotlines for people to call in for support. And that they, they get, uh, uh, calls about suicide on those hotlines and they explain to me how they handle it. But to have a national hotline for suicide prevention is, is a, would be a major step forward. So again, I commend uh, the Suicide Prevention Advocacy <coughs> Network, SPAN, for all that you're doing and look forward to working with you as we move forward in the future. Thank you. Thank you.